feel like this does not look right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't feel like making up my bed, so here's a bed sheet. Call me lazy all you want, but college is kind of kicking my butt just a little bit. I feel like I should give you guys a life update because a lot of shice is going on since my last video. So first life update, I broke up with my boyfriend of two years. Yeah, <laughs> that happened all while I was in the ER with my kidney infection and all of that stuff. Two ER visits later and here I am. Voila. College started again. I'm already a week behind. And instead I'm making a video for you guys. So that's just my love, love for you. <laughs> Another update. I figured out how to carve out my brows and I have never been more proud of myself ever like literally ever I wow I yeah 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 I can't believe that I went through life without carving out my eyebrows as a college student we try and do the bare minimum so, that being said, we are going to do the bare minimum with our makeup. So I'm talking only eyebrows and eyelashes being glued on. That has been my look for the last month, month and a half, two months, something like that. So we're going to do our eyebrows, our eyelashes, and just a little bit of foundation, obviously contour, blush, highlight, but we'll get into that in a minute hot minute <laughs> so as I talked about before we were doing the bare minimum and you can tell that by my dirty beauty blender that I just spent five minutes trying to clean and I did not clean I have been doing my makeup routine a little differently since I figured out how to carve eyebrows so let me just get you through that for starters we're going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow in the shade soft brown we're just gonna go in and define some brows i'm going into the dip brow pomade with the anastasia beverly hills eyebrow brush yes i bent this booly i think this is 12 99 sure we're just gonna do some brows So now that I have this all done, <laughs> we're going to blend it out with this bully. Just bear with me. You see that going on? You see that not going on over here? Holy eyebrow. So let me just move on to carving this buddy out. I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit. Yes, I know it's dirty. She's very dirty. I'm going to be taking the contour cream in the shade Soft Light. With this cream contour, or I should say highlight, I'm going to be adding my concealer just to make it kind of my skin color, but a little lighter. You just need a dip. That's it. Then I'm going to be taking my concealer brush and mixing with the cream kit contour thing whatever and just getting some and carving out my brows now that we have the cream contour all over my eyebrow we're going to blend it out using my beauty blender And since I don't have any brow setting gel, I'm taking my mascara. Yes, my black mascara. And we are going to comb my middle brows, so these, and I'm going to fix the outer edge to make it stay all day long. Then 
There you go. So yeah, this is how I figured out how to carve my eyebrows. And I am really proud of it, okay? So now I'm gonna finish the other one. I should have done this before, but to prime my face, at least my nose area, a little better, I am going to use the Farsali Unicorn Essence. Nose area. <laughs> I get a lot of questions. Kenzie, do you really like this? Yes, I really like this. It makes my makeup last all day. Well, it could be this or it could be the uh, Urban Decay <laughs> All Night Setting Spray. But you know what? I'm gonna say that this helps. Now that my face is sticky and tacky, I'm going to use my concealer. Concealer. I'm going to put that under my eyeball. Okay, done! No, I'm kidding. We gotta blend. Now that the concealer is done, I'm going to take my Laura Mercier foundation in the shade Rose Ivory. Wow, I actually got that right. And just put on some foundation. I don't know how else to explain that. Now that I look like a ghost, I'm going to take my Jeremy Scott contour and blush and highlight palette and go into some Acoustica and do my cheekbones. Now I know some of you may be saying, whoa, whoa, Kenzie, what's happening with the setting powder? Why aren't you setting your under eyes? You know what? This is college. We're doing things our way. Now we're going into the other side. There, now I don't look as pale. Next, we're going into our blush. And... <sighs> There's my little egg. To make you guys go a little less crazy, I'm going in with my Milk Makeup Blur and Set Setting Powder and just under the eyes and anywhere else that needs it. And of course, it's not a makeup look without some highlight. I'm going into the highlighter in the Jeremy Scott palette, which is called Heaven in Your Smile. I want to put that on my cheekbones. I'm also going to put it on my nose and my cupid's bow as per usual. Now the face is done, we're going to be going into some eyeliner, which I am using the Too Faced Sketch Marker Eyeliner. We're going to be drawing a very thin line over my lash line, so let's get into that. And next to line my waterline, I am going to be using the NYX eyeliner cream pencil eyeliner I don't know all up in there okay ready so go next to prep for my lashes I'm going to apply some roller lash mascara and yeah that's what we're gonna do now that my mascara is on I'm going to bye bye eyelash I am going to put on my Sephora Collection eyelashes in Quill. These are my favorite. These are probably the softest lashes I have ever put on my eyeballs. Not even joking. So to prep my lash, let's just focus in on this. We're going to apply some glue. Do it. And we're going to wait for a little bit, but while we wait, we're going to apply some glue on the inner corner and the outer corner 
to properly make sure that these eyelashes are cemented to my eyes and will not lift up while I am doing homework or I'm in class. This is a glam version of a lazy college student. Did not announce this, but I am using the duo lash glue. Ignore the fact that it cannot close because there's glue all over it. Now I am applying my eyelash. So I'm going to be looking down and applying, which if you haven't already, go watch my how to apply false eyelashes for dummies video because that might help you a little bit. Now we're going to do the same thing that I did on this side, but on this side. And to finish off just a little bit better, yes, I'm going to dip into the same highlight that I put all over my face and I'm putting that in the inner corners of my eyes to make my inner corners pop just a little bit. Next, I am going to put on just a little bit of some Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Scandal. Finally, I am going to be using my all-nighter setting spray to make sure all of this stays in place. And so, that is complete. My makeup is basically complete. It is complete, just kidding. We got a slap on a beanie. So I like to call this one the glammed up college student because it really doesn't take that long in the morning. It's better than trying to do full glam and then your, your skin just looks kind of flawless. And look at them eyeballs. <laughs> wow. Okay, thank you guys a lot for bearing with me and for putting up with me, I guess. Wow. Okay, I have not uploaded in a while. So I apologize that this video is probably very, very rough. Thank you for watching and thank you in advance for subscribing. If you're new here, hit that button down below. It's free. You know what I'm saying? If you're already subscribed and have not already, go ahead, hit the bell icon, be notified whenever I do upload, which was supposed to be weekly, but now it's turning into bi-weekly. I feel bad about it, but I do have work and I have school, which is another job, so I basically have two jobs, and yeah. As usual, I always link my social medias in the description box down below, so feel free to follow those if you want to. Not saying that you have to, but it'd be nice. This is my glammed up college student look. This is kind of a daily for me. Minus lipstick, but I felt like it needed it today. Yeah. So thank you so very much for watching, and see you next time.